so the semester just started again and <laughs> I've been pretty much busier more than ever because we already have assignments that we need to finish. It's quite unbelievable because it's only like the second week coming to the third week of university. But even then, I already have an assignment that needs to be due by next Wednesday. So yeah, I've been uh, working with my mates over the weekends and I've been trying to get as much work done before I film this video. So today I want to talk a bit about the campus placements for construction management at Western Sydney University. So in the last video, there was a comment that mentioned about the campus placement that is being offered at Western Sydney University. And so I thought it would have been a great time to talk about my construction work that is related to the working hours required for Western Sydney Universities to complete the construction management degree. And I will also talk a bit about my experience working for the company that I'm I'm currently working at right now. So for the construction management degree at Western Sydney University, you are required to complete 1200 hours of practical work experience. And these type of hours can be completed in a form of a certified construction work like apprenticeship, cadetships, or even labor work. I talked a bit about those kind of works in the other video about construction management at Western Sydney University. So if you're interested to learn more, I'll put a link in the description below. So when you're doing these type of works, you have to write down your working hours and you have to register it to your course coordinator so that they can certify that you have completed the required hours of work to be able to graduate. You have to get a letter from your employer saying how long you have been with them and what type of works that you do throughout the day. And so when you send it to your course coordinator, you might have to list out the company's name, the types of works that you do and your employer's signature as well. You just email it to your course coordinator and then by then you're pretty much finished with your <laughs> required working hours. So that is how you'll be able to let your course coordinator know that you have already completed the 1200 working hours. Now let's talk about the campus placements for construction management at Western Sydney University. So just like any placements out there, you have to look for a company to get your working hours. And for construction management at Western Sydney University, the university won't personally help you and ask for a company if you can join a team. You will have to go through a normal interview process like everyone else. And most likely you will have to compete with other students from not just the construction management course, but also from other degrees as well. So a lot of the times the course coordinator will be sending out emails about companies that have open positions. And if you're interested, you can email them your resumes and your cover letter. And if you're qualified, they'll be able to ask you for an interview date and possibly get you a job. Personally, I just don't like to apply for these sort of companies that is suggested by the course coordinator just because it is so competitive. There are so many students who are doing the same units at Western Sydney University that it would be very difficult and competitive to actually get the job at the company, which is why I would rather prefer finding another company outside of the suggested ones listed by the course coordinator. And so that gives me a high chance of actually getting into the company. And that is exactly what I did for my current job. So way back in September 2020, when I started looking out for these sort of construction companies, it was also a pretty tough times because it was during the COVID period as well. So a lot of the people, they are very desperate to actually try to find work. I probably applied for about 13 companies and I finally got one to reply back to me and actually ask me to come in for a trial date. So a trial date is pretty much just a normal day where I get to go in and I test out see if I actually like the work that they do which is pretty good considering I didn't know much about the company or what kind of work that they do all I know is that they do a lot of consulting work and they actually give advices to the clients about what to do for the construction project but anyways when you apply for these sort of companies or any companies in particular if you're not qualified the companies will either reply back to you saying that sorry you didn't get the job after two or three weeks of actually not getting an email back or an answer they just probably ignore your email. <laughs> so on the first trial day that I had, my boss asked me to look at the plans that we had for a certain project and he actually asked me to mark up the areas of work for the plan. You would normally be given the map for the entire floor and you would have to locate which area that the engineer told you to look at. Which is why marking up the plans before actually thinking of what to do for the project is so important so that you will not look at another plan or look at another area of work by mistake. But after I look at the plans and then I understand what must be done, I sort of report back to my boss telling him that this is what the engineers are asking us to do and this is what we should be doing from there. 
So it was quite an interesting experience for the trial day and I actually like this type of work. It is pretty interesting because I get to learn about the planning stages of the project before the project managers and the team actually start the construction phase. So after I had my trial day, my boss asked me if I would like to do a three months internship. Normally, some companies don't actually do that. They would just ask you if you would like to be part-time or full-time right away. But as an international student, I thought that a three months internship would actually be an actual good experience for me. I get to understand this type of work more before I actually go in depth with the other projects. So when I started this internship, it was actually during the uni break and I have a lot more time on my hands. And so my boss recommend me to actually look at some laboring job as well, just so I can have some on-site experience. So about a week of digging and researching, I found a company that I was able to do some laboring work in. It was an installation company that installed installation batches and installed wall sarkings around the building. Yeah, installations sounds pretty itchy. <laughs> but it wasn't too itchy because they actually used a different type of material called earth wool that will be less itchy when you touch it and it is a lot easier to work with. And so it was actually pretty good that I got these sorts of experience during the holidays because I can work for unlimited hours. But yes, when I actually did the laboring work, I have to have something called a white card, which is a type of card that shows that you understand the safety induction training. And without that card, I won't be able to do any laboring work at all. So throughout the whole three months of summer, I had seven days of work per week. Monday, I'll be doing the laboring installation work. Tuesdays and Wednesdays would be the office work. And then from Wednesdays all the way to Saturday would be the installation work. But yeah, it was actually a really good experience for me to see how the construction industry operates from not just the planning stage, but also during the construction stage. So now toward the end of summer, I have two options. I either stay with the installation work or I get to move into the office doing more admin stuff. Although most internships actually only last three months long, some companies actually do offer internships that can last all the way to six months. And in some cases, they would actually extend a three months internships by another month or two months before actually offering you a paid job. But for my company, I was actually offered a paid position after my three months internship without any extension. So yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> but I actually got offered a casual position depending on the workload that the company has, which is perfect for me because as an international student during normal school time, I can only work for 20 hours a week. Yeah, that is not a lot at all if you're trying to complete your 1200 hours of work, which is why I try to get as much stuff done during the summertime when I can work more hours. And because a lot of the laboring works actually require you to be on the site full time, it would have been a bit more difficult for me to focus on the laboring work and focus on uni as well. But that is also depending on the company that you apply for. Some places also offer a casual positions for laboring. I have a couple friends who actually do laboring works where they only work for about one to two days per week. But that is if you happen to come across those companies and they actually offer you the job. But yeah, I do casual work in the office for two to three days per week, depending on the amount of work that they have. And it is a lot better for me as an international student and for me to focus more on uni as well. And because right now the lockdown is extended in Sydney still, I cannot leave my LGA or local government areas to actually go to the office and work. So basically with the new restrictions, construction in a non-occupied setting outside of the LGAs of concern with no resident on site will reopen as planned subject to a one person per four square meters rule. And construction cannot resume in the eight LGAs of concern, nor will construction workers be allowed to leave these areas. And especially right now where a lot of the works for my company is actually in the construction stage, I cannot leave my house at all just to get to the sites to do this kind of work. So it's either I do more admin work or I actually don't do anything at all. <laughs> but yeah, right now I'm on a bit of a break for the construction industry. I'm currently more focused into the uni work because like I said before, we actually have a lot of assignments due in the first couple of weeks already. But some companies are actually still in their planning stages and so they're able to do a bit more admin stuff instead of the on-site works. So it would have been a bit more different for them than us because they're actually working in the office and they're planning the construction stuff and actually not getting the construction work done. But yeah, I'm just like some of my other friends as well. I'm on break from the construction work until the end of this lockdown.
But in general, the campus placements for construction management at Western Sydney University is pretty straightforward. You just have to find a company that you really like and apply for it. And hopefully you will go through the interview process and getting the job so that you can work toward your working hours. It is actually quite a competitive industry to get into because there are so many students and so many professionals out there who are doing these type of work. So if you are an international student like me, it would definitely be a lot harder for us to get a job in the construction industry here in Australia in particular. But I do believe that in the end, there will always be a company out there with an open positions that will be interested in your skills and the stuff that you do, which is why I strongly recommend you into getting a lot of the club stuff at uni and involved in a lot of the club ac activities and the university activities just to create a name for yourself. As for me, back in high school, I did a lot of volunteering work and actually enjoyed doing a lot of those kind of things. And you can definitely put that in your resume saying that you have these sort of experiences of helping hosting the events whether it is a volunteering job or whether it is a club activity in the university. Honestly, any experience will definitely help in finding a job, in particular the construction industry here in Australia. And don't forget to actually write down your working hours so that you can keep track of it, counting it down so that you can send it to your course coordinator and have your employer verified, certified that you actually have been with them for this long so that you don't have to worry about it for the rest of your uni career. But I also got a job from uni to help hosting online events and possibly help out in the future events as well. But that is a story for another time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.